Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to show you how to work without spilling liquids anywhere. Now when you're pouring oil into your car, you don't want to make a mess. Get it on electronics, get it on the exhaust or it's going to smolder. And yeah, for years I've been using funnels. I got a zillion of them lying around. Strange old ones that look like a tornado. This one that's big and has a little weight to try to keep it from wobbling when you're pouring the oil in and it jiggles around. But as you can see by the oil residue here, you still generally get some splash back and it gets on the engine. Now this is a Toyota, as you can see, there's a baffle plate in. Right inside here, there's a baffle plate. The engineers put them in there to keep the oil flowing so it doesn't come up the top and to make sure that it doesn't make any noises. But that plate restricts the opening about halfway. So if you use a funnel, what often happens is the oil can't go in fast enough so it sprays all over the place when you pour the oil in the funnel. Now over the years the way I counteracted that was by pouring the oil in the funnel very slowly. But let's face it, it's annoying and everybody's in a hurry. You don't want me standing there for 20 minutes pouring it in a drop at a time. So I've been trying this shine spout out. Company sent me a case of the stuff to try out. So I thought, hey, it sounds like a good idea. Let's see if it works. And here it is. It's an interesting idea because one, it's got this cool little bladder vent that only goes one way. It'll suck air in, but when you blow it out, it won't come up. So the oil won't come dripping out here. Only air can go up. And it's got a cool end on it so you can cap it off. But the neatest thing is it's flexible. You can bend it so you can put it at any angle. And it stays that way because of the way this plastic's made. I'm going to use this Tito's vodka bottle to show you how well it pours. It just pours smoothly and the air comes in here so it doesn't gulp. It even has the neighbor's cat attraction to it. As you can see in a close-up, that vent system works great. It lets the air come in, but it doesn't let any of the fluid come out and make a mess. It's got a perfect size cap. It fits on the regular quart oil cans. And it also fits on the five and four gallon jugs. So you can use it with all kinds of jugs. Now I always hated changing oil in these Lexus V6 engines because they got a huge baffle plate inside here. And when you glug too much oil in, it go around the seam, leak on the exhaust manifold, all over the transmission. What a mess. But with the vented spout, look, you can have it at the perfect angle and pour it at the perfect speed. You don't have to worry about it spilling anywhere. And when you're done, Tap the little end, you can store the rest of the oil away. Then rather than looking for a thousand funnels, you don't know where any of them are, you can just have your bottle with a funnel already on it. You're not going to miss it that way. I don't know how many funnels I got hidden inside my garage here, but I don't have to look for them anymore. <laughs> I can just use this instead. And of course, it's great for reaching hard to get to things like the power steering pump here. And you don't have to worry about spilling transmission fluid anymore because it fits right into the hole and it won't spill. I gotta say, somebody built a better mousetrap, hey, I'm gonna use it. Now, the second device I'm gonna talk about to stop spills is this press and pour. It's a little gas pump with a gallon of gas in it. I don't know how many times I filled up this weed eater and got gas all over the place and it stunk and my wife would come in the yard and say, geez, it smells like gas in there, what happened? You stick it in the hole where it fits, then you push the little button just like a gas pump and it fills it up with gas. I'll take it off and show you how it works inside. There's the bottom that screws in, it's sealed. But when you push the little button, it opens up, lets the gas in, it's got a little rubber seal, so when you let go, it seals it and no more gas flows through. And at least for me, since I'm always losing things, this is great. You don't need the top for it because this is sealed. There's nothing coming through it now. So I don't have to hunt around. Where did I put the gas cap for this? This is one piece. There's no cap. Whenever you fill it, you just push a little button like at a gas station. When you're done, pop it back up. Nothing to lose. It even has this cool little grip here so you can hold on it just like you do at the gas station when you fill your car up. So now you know how to never spill things again when you're working on your car or any other gas-powered tool you have. And remember, since this is Mechanic Monday, I'm giving away these things. To have a chance to win, just place a clean, non-offensive comment on the YouTube comments below, and a winner will be chosen randomly by computer. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.